Well, here we are again, finally, after a long, long break. But, as usual, welcome to the dumbest and stupidest gaming channel on YouTube. And please accept my apologies for not uploading any gaming videos for quite some time. But as I put a wee note on the community post area, health wasn't too great, I'm afraid. Uh, and that's what happens when you get to be an old fart like me. So, but hopefully, touch wood, we can get back to some sort of normality. But please don't forget, the main reason that this channel exists is to support RMA, the Royal Marines Charity. And we can only do that with your help. So if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. doesn't cost you anything. Just give it a wee click. And that's it. Well, I mean, a like would be nice as well. Yeah, you know, uh, but you don't have to, but it's mainly the subscribe button. We'd really, really appreciate that because that will help us massively in our support of RMA, the Royal Marines Charity. Thank you. So, new game. Well, I say it's a new game. It came out, I think it was the 5th of April, 20. 23, uh, which was nearly a month ago, uh, but I still wasn't 100%, so I couldn't really do anything with it at the time. So it's called Grimald, I think. That is Grimald, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and guess what? It's another city building thingy doodah, and it looks like it burns down as well. Uh, it's not 100% sure the era that it's based in, but it's sort of medievalish, I think. I don't know. But as you can see, uh, the first tale, Layla, Goddess of Spring. So it must mean that we're going into springtime. Alright, so uh, the grinning warlord points his spear at the open door of the town hall, watching as those within cover in fear. That doesn't sound right, does it? The grinning warlord points his spear at the open door of the town hall, watching as those within cower in fear. That's better. He bellows forth his command. The livestock of this town is ours, except for the goats. Those will be added to the sacrificial lock. Eh? To the sacrifice, sorry. My eyes are going as well. Don't worry about it. Lock them in and seal the doors. Glory to Chernobog. Whoever that is or whatever it is. The bleating, panicked animals are brought in to join the town leader, the priests and their servants. The doors are closed and barricaded and the warlord touches the slip of flame from his torch to the pile of brushwood surrounding the town hall. Oh, oh heavens. I hear a heart-rendering cry from the narrow windows of the hall and the beating of fists against walls as those within realise their fates. Tongues of flame and smoke begin to issue forth. The town is already baking, but I feel a fresh surge of intense heat pour forth from the terrible bonfire. The warlord issues new commands and I see some of the warriors approach the warehouse my mother and I are hiding in. With one last look back at me, my mother steps forward and distracts the men as they enter. I watch as they grab her and take her away. Thrilled to have finally found the High Priestess, I am afraid to move, or even breathe, despite the fact that no one could hear me over the crackling of blazing wood. I think we'll just skip it all. It's getting a bit boring now, isn't it? Eh? We'll just go to the next bitty. And see what we can do with that. Oh, look. 
Sir Marco. Is that a fox with wings or a wolf with wings or something? First and foremost, we must build a tent for you, young leader of your kind. Am I? I'm young. <laughs> oh, next. Here we shall gather resources for the town, and eventually we will gather the inhabitants for the assembly. Aye, okay. Oh, look. Oh, look, water. Oh, there we go. How do we, how do we get up? How can we, can we not rotate thingy do that? Hold on, is there a, a diagram? F10 for feedback, no. Left, mouse move camera, rotate and zoom. Oh, that's a zoom, but that's all that zooms out. Doesn't zoom out very far, does it? Oh, look. We've got some green grun. Grun, grun, ground. What's that there? Layla's blessings. Building contamination rates, minus 70%. Disease rate, 70. Fire rate, 70. Oh, that's a lot of that, isn't it? Oh, look, there's a wee fox. Look, see ya. Oh, don't, don't, don't go away, foxy. Hey, look, I wish we could sort of get down to it type thing. Do you know what I mean? Rotate the camera. Look, there's loads of things. There's what I see again. I need to look up. I want to look up. How do I look up? doesn't show enough, I find. Well, we've got a waterfall. And we've got some water. So, build a leader's tent. Okay. What priorities? Destroy the road or building. Roads. Buildings. Display local threats, deposits, and desirability. Ooh. Worker priorities. If you have more available jobs than workers, they will prioritize working at building types according to the list. Logistics. Service. Oops. We'll just keep it at that, shall we? Eh? That's the thing, we. Roads. Uh, building. Display local threat deposits and desirability. Okay. Oh, that there. Water. Contamination. Disease. Fire. Desirability. Efficiency. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, buildings. Leader's tent. Right, where will we put the leader's tent? How does that, does that, no, it doesn't move that way. Does it do a cure a knee? No. No. How do, how do I turn the tent round? Oh, it's there. R is to rotate, you idiot. Left mouse button is build. I suppose holding the mouse button is build multiple. And the right one is to cancel. Oh, look, that's how we rotate, look. Yeah. Where's the front? Is that the front? Where shall we put? Where shall we put it? Shall we put it there? In the middle? No, that's the middle. That's the middle, isn't it? More or less. So I'll do that'll do. Ooh. This is the heart of your settlement. Okay. Early on, the building is used primarily to store resources. Later it will be the site from which you will issue edicts and collect taxes. Oh, we get to collect. Oh, there's money. Okay. Right, what, what? More and more new residents are arriving in the settlement, ready to help in the construction. Specify places of residence for them, and they will take care of their own dwellings. Okay. 
Roads are needed to deliver resources between warehouses and places of production, as well as food and water to residential buildings. God, try to avoid spreading your settlement too broadly or distant locations may be neglected. Okay. Right. Do we need some roads? Road. Right, we'll put a road out the front to the water. And then down this way. To there. It's just costing me money. I hope not. Right. Settler's plot. Okay. Oops. Where's the front of this thing? Is that the front? Uh, will we stick to it or not? Oh, we need a well. Well, well. Oh, that covers a lot, doesn't it? Stick the well there, shall we? Right, what else have we got? Cesspit, back, lumber. Oh, we need lumber. We'll need lumber, won't we? There we go. What else have we got? Oh, fisherman's hoose. Aye, ah, let's have a fisherman's hoose, eh? That doesn't look very good then, does it? There we go. I'll get us some fish. And fish will be good in that. Mark, what's that, Mark? How do we, how do we move that along? No, that's a rotate, you idiot. No, that moves the whole thing. How do we? Oh, mark it. We need some woods, don't we? Build four, oh, four settlers' plots. Okay, sorry. Stick one there. There we go. That'll be four. What's that? Oh, that's better. I thought there was something wrong. Now your settlers all have roof over their heads. Satisfied residents are ready to follow their leader. Yay! Oh. Your town won't survive long without clean drinking water. Underground springs are a good source. Build a well to top into the, tap into them. Sorry. Wells must be built near water. Oh, yeah. And should be placed close to residential buildings for convenience. Yeah, that's what I did that there, there. See that? Did that? Did that there? There thing. Right, a basic. Ch Don't give me much time to read things, do you? Water carriers bring water to the homes of your inhabitants for drinking, cooking, and bathing. Make sure your road system is not too long and branched or your water carriers will tire and go home before they visit every home. Okay, I think I've done that all right. Right. To prevent the, stre the streets of your settlement from being filled with stench and excrement, you need to build a cesspit. Okay. It is best to construct this building slightly away from the residential areas so that the residents won't have to endure the smell at home. Okay, oh for God's sake. However, placing it too far off might cause the night soil collector to get tired and quit before visiting everywhere that needs his attention. Okay. Oh look, we can read something now. Basic shelter suitable for peasants. So that's is that diseases again? I can't remember. 20 units of water a day. And 
that food three a day food at home I've got five dwellers okay what is that again oh that's Layla's blessing thing right we need a cesspit thing don't we where should we put that well we want it somewhere away but not too far away what about there I think because that's downstream for where the fishies is okay reaches a critical level food and water will quickly deteriorate and people will get sick more often I okay I need well, you stop bringing them things up I want to put a road in so that people do not suffer from pestilence it is necessary to maintain the cleanliness not only of buildings but also of your bodies barbers will provide your residents with medical treatments haircuts and bathing like water carriers and night soil collectors, they go around the houses themselves. Okay. Right, now I wanted some more roads, didn't I? Road. Because I need a road for the cesspit. There. Right, and then we'll... Have one down to there as well, yeah. Right, barber, 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 buildings, barber, barber. Uh, we'll do the barber. Should we stick the barber there? It's near the hooses, isn't it? I don't know what the front of the barber's house is. What's the front of the barber shop? What's it look like? Is, it, is that? Is that the front? There you go. Right. With that, all of your settlement basic needs are met. Now you can start improving it. Okay. The nights are cold here and you already used up most of the wood that was available upon our arrival. Aha, but that's why I put a thing in. I do that. We might not be out of logs yet, but it's time to start producing more. Ah, I was way ahead of you, pal. Way ahead of you. Logs are required for the construction of many buildings, as well as for heating village homes. Well, I didn't think of the heat, but oh god, here we go again. Wonderful work. So far, you're doing great. Oh, thank you. Doggy. Just call him Doggy. We will need a lot of wood to survive here. We need to stock up more. Okay. Well, this will do for the time being, but villagers will always need more wood. Make sure your warehouses do not empty. Okay. I'd build more if you'd stop coming up with these stupid messages. People need food, young leader. We will not stay here for, lo oh, for long. So there is no point in planting grain. Instead, we will go about catching fish from the river. Yeah, I know. I've already done that. The catch is good today. The gods are kind to us. Good for them. Oh, God. Here we go again. Trade is the lifeblood of a town and allows your village to receive food and other resources at their residential buildings. Okay. Traders supply residents with everything they need. So you should always place a market, okay? Where's the market? There's a the market. We'll put the market near the well. Yeah, okay. And we'll... I, okay. I, I want to get a road in. There, we have provided your residents with everything they need. Give them some time to see how your settlement grows and they improve their new homes. Okay. Right, I want to put a road in. Where'd my roads go? See, so they can get all round to the different market stalls. Oh, gold. Market stalls. Okie dokie. 
Where did them thingies go? That was up there a minute ago. Shall we fast forward a wee bitty? Oh no, wait a minute, I'd like to see what's, what's in there. Stores. We've got no cereals, we've got no plants, we've got 34 logs, we've got 21 fish. Skin, stones, clay. Do we need hunters? Do we need clay? He says we're not going to be here long, didn't he? Oh look, there's a wee man with a barra. Look at him with his barra. Look. Oh, night soil collector. He's collecting the night soil. Salesman, taking orders and distributing goods for market. Good for him. Oh, we're going off a slow. Let me know. Well, that's at normal speed. Who are you? Delivery man delivering. Returning to the fish house. Turn to Lumberjack's hut. Lumberjack's hut. Just wrote, oh, it's a barber roaming. Good for the barber. Who are you? Going to lead us to. Jobs three, so we got three in there. We got two barbers. We got five people. Oh, they hold five, do they? Can we upgrade them now? Wait for tents to upgrade into huts. Okay. Speed it up a wee bitty, shall we? See how we get on. It's a wee bit slow, but I wish I could tilt. Oh, look, hussies! Hussies! Yay! Your settlement is growing and prospering, young Lee. Lel. Right, 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 there. Okay. Now that we have provided your people with food and shelter, we can seek out other settlements in search of allies. We still have much to do. Oh. I'm doing something else now. The second tale. <clears throat> Veles, a patron of animals. A hot day on the river bank from the outskirts of the settlement. Residents carry baskets of fish from the wharf toward warehouses. In the distance, the construction of new houses is visible. Enough time has elapsed that by joint efforts it was possible to provide shelter and food to the survivors of the plundered town. What plundered town? Did we see a plundered town? I don't know. I know my memory is bad, but... I am sitting with a fishing rod by the water when... In the blinding sun's glare on the surface of the waves, the figure of Layla appears. Way. You are coping well as befits the last Layla. Hey? My rescued people are sheltered and fed, despite the claims of the warriors of Chernobog that we are all dead. Oh, is that supposed to be a rhyme? This is good, but it cannot last. Or lost? Is that last or lost? Their army will come in time and you will have to leave this camp. Besides, there is not enough land for agriculture here and we dearly need allies. But do not fear. I did not make a mistake in choosing you. You shall save our lineage. Will I? With a start, I snapped out of the vision at the sound of rumbling wheels in the distance. At the entrance to the village, several leisurely merchant carts have arrived. I return to my tent to meet with the merchants, knowing that their carts contain all manner of necessary and expensive goods. Many of the villagers who fled only succeeded in doing so by abandoning all they had. The fabrics in those carts would be of tremendous help. Hopeful that I can strike a deal, I greet the lead merchant with a smile. <laughs> Honest merchants, we welcome you. Was oh, that me? I look very feminine, don't I? Mm. 
Am I supposed to be a woman? No, no. Sorry. Honest merchants, we welcome you. Would you care to trade some of your flax for our fish? Or perhaps you can find a market for this wood. Oh, gold. The merchant's face sours and my hopes fail. Fall, fail, fall. There's not going to be a big trade here, boy. What is that you have there? Crucian carp? By tomorrow the dogs would not eat it. Not after it's had a chance to spoil in this heat. Now I might take those logs off your hands, but not until my return trip in three weeks. <sighs> Where you are now, your choices are very limited. If you really want to have any luck trading, you'll load your convoy, gather your people and follow us. At a better spot, perhaps you'll make a tidy profit cutting logs into planks and trading those. Hmm. His words hurt to hear. Having set up our camp, it seems cruel to have to leave so soon, but to echo the words of Layla. After a short rest, the merchant packs up their carts and leave the settlement. From the back of the last wagons in their convoy, a shepherd boy in a bear's hat waves his hands and laughs at me, urging me to follow with a gesture. <sighs> Suddenly, sure of what we must do, I order the villagers to load up and hastily reassemble cart and just like that, we are on the road. Yay! On the road again. The day, oh for God's sake, the day passes sluggishly in a damp and heavy haze as the sun falls to the horizon. We trundle along worn trails and open fields, crushing the small blue eyes of chicory and wormwood under heavy wheels. By evening, the air becomes thick with fog, dense as oatmeal, and clouds of midges surround us, biting and pestering, filling the mouth of yawning carriage driver. I didn't know they were in Scotland. Got loads of midges there. We set up camp in the fields and I fall asleep surprisingly quickly, lulled by the rumble of the merchant carts pulling into place around us. Outside my tent, I hear the shepherd boy making noise and laughing loudly. Annoyed! I open my eyes and see him grinning at me, and then he grows in size, shooting up and up into the form of a mature man with grey hair. But his voice still rings with childlike joy, and the bear hat slips off his head into his hands, and a bear cub grows out of it, resting calmly in his arm, eh? Oh now, you were following me, so why do you look so surprised to see me? I don't know, really. I am Jarama Layla, and I travel at the call of the mother of my family in search of allies. Still think looks feminine. Layla, you say? Well then, follow me for Veli's or Veli's glory. There is no better ally than an ally in business and craft, and no contract stronger than the common interest. You seek to build for yourself a new home? Yes, then you must learn agriculture and craft, establish your own prosperous town, and of course a temple in gratitude for my kind patronage. With a smile, he steps past the flap of my tent, beyond my field of vision. A lot of reading in this game, isn't there? Before I can give chase, the world shakes and I feel my teeth clamp shut painfully, head spinning. I sit up straight upon the wooden floor. I'm in the cart again, looking out at the rich purple dusk light. A shepherd driver leans over me, waving the stick he'd used to wake me from my slumber. With a laugh, he shouts, Hey, you can't be sleeping now. This is where the merchants are leaving us. Time to set up camp. Oh. Oh, where are we now? Billy, 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 Vales, Vales, himself appeared to us today, a good sign. Meeting with him promises good luck in work and hunting. Now grab your tools with the others and build your village better than before. Is this going to be a whole village? Sorry. Remember to place your housing near wells so that water carriers do not have to travel too far and that wells can only be dug near water. 
Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, look at this. I wish I could tell up a wee bit of though. Oh, what happened there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, waterfall. There's a, no, there's not. No, it's like a big lake thingy, isn't it? It is a lake. A wee highland, island in the middle. Oh, look, there's a cart. What's that? What's that place? Don't know. Right, well, I'll tell you what. Seeing as we have moved and we've got to build residential areas, we'll bring this episode to a close. Because I'm still building. Can you hear my throat's going again? I don't want to go bad again. So, we'll call this episode to an end. Let me know what you think of Grimold. Crime old, whatever it was called. See, I'm, I'm so good at these things. I'm such a brilliant YouTuber, I can't even remember what game it is I'm playing. I told you this was a stupid and dumb channel. Right, but before you go, please don't forget to like. Most importantly, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Please do subscribe because we need as many people as possible so as that we can support RMA, the Royal Marines Charity. Okay, click on the link below and find out more information regarding that, because that'll take you through to the shop and whatnot. Okay, not my shop, but the Royal Marines Charity shop, and you can buy things if you want. Yes, you can. Okay, so we've got woods with foxes, I wonder if that's that, that one with the wings. And stones with more woods and we got water. See, we got water. We got green bits of ground and dark greeny bits of ground. And we've got to build a town here. But we'll see what that's like in the next episode. So, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you for your patience if you've been with us before. I really do apologise for the length of time it's taken me to get another video up. But hopefully we can get back to some normality. Okay? So take very, very, very good care of yourselves. And until we speak to you in the next video, it's bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.